For the past four years, the First World War has been raging across Europe, and the Socialists have been using this to their advantage. They have been growing their support base against an increasingly anti-war populace. And now, the time has come. The year is 1918, and things are going horribly for Germany. The Entente has entered Germany, and now, the German Empire is resorting to desperate measures. For the most part, it has been suicidal offensives. However, people are starting to stand up against Imperial Germany. Starting in Kiel, a massive sailors mutiny backed by the workers of the city has started the end for the Empire. This event will be known as the November Revolution, and the Empire has been watching in horror. At first, it looked as though Germany was going to become a liberal republic. However, the German socialists wouldn't allow this to happen. However, the SPD, the head of the liberal government, wouldn't be purged, and instead would be allowed to join the socialists. This would make the SPD a part of a four-way coalition, along with the anarcho-syndicalist FAUD, the Communist Spartacist League, and the vanguard socialist Red Fighters Front. This coalition would eventually declare the creation of the Free Socialist Republic of Germany. However, the German reactionaries weren't going to give up without a fight and they would form their own coalition, the National Front. This meant that the German Civil War was on. The National Front organized in Munich and decided to invite Kaiser Wilhelm over to give a speech to rally the troops. However, Kaiser Wilhelm would state, once Germany is reunited under the nationalist cause, we will take back Germany's rightful lands stolen from us at Versailles. The implication that they were going to resume the First World War led to a massive protest from the units, who were tired of the trenches. One soldier was so outraged that he fired upon the Kaiser himself, and ended up killing him. This resulted in the various units present to start fighting with each other, including one commanded by Paul von Hindenburg, who would end up being one of the casualties in the Munich Uprising. The Munich Uprising eventually ended up creating a massive power struggle. Many generals and political forces within the National Front began to fight with one another, including members of the SPD who had left the SPD after the SPD conceded to the Socialists. With all this infighting, it meant that the Spartacists had an easy time sweeping up the National Front and pushing them out of Germany. Most of them fled to Austria, but in East Prussia, they were able to take control and establish the state of East Prussia. They weren't the only separatists, for the Rhenish Republic was established by the Entente. Speaking of the Entente, they were horrified by what had happened in Germany. France especially viewed a socialist Germany as the greatest threat to its existence. But like the National Front, they would have to learn the hard way that their soldiers were not interested in pursuing another war. But we'll have to save that for later, because right now, all lies are on the East, as the Polish-Soviet War has just begun.